Hi guys! So today we're going to be doing a clothing haul on a few pieces of clothing that I've recently purchased. I even threw in some pieces that I actually have gotten quite a few weeks ago but new enough that I can throw them in this video. I haven't worn them yet, they're still tags on them and I haven't put anything together using them. I won't be trying any of these on because there are quite a few and I just kind of wanted to go through store by store and share with you what I got. So there is quite a few pieces so let's get started. So first I'm going to start off with Ivy Park. If you don't know what Ivy Park is, it's Beyonce's um, athletic line and I pretty much have every single piece. If you don't already know, I do love Beyonce and when she came out with these pieces, I was like, well, I need them all because she's Beyonce and she's my bestie, so I need to support her. But I just wanted to show a few for now. First being this sheer sweater type shirt. It's obviously very see-through and it does have a hood. It's just, I think you're supposed to work out in all of these clothing pieces of hers, but I don't. I mean... I don't see why you can't, but I just wear it as just an outfit. So you can either wear just your bra, a bralette, or a tank top, whatever you feel comfortable with. I actually pair it with another piece of Ivy Park. It's just this sports bra. It's a little bit longer, so it comes to about half my stomach. I'm not brave enough to show my entire stomach, so this will do. And I, yeah, I just wear that underneath this, so it's actually really cute. And another one being this super cute crop top. I would wear this with anything high-waisted because like I said I'm not brave enough to show my entire stomach. So high-waisted is perfect for me but go ahead and wear this with a pair of jeans, a pair of leggings that are not high-waisted. Also super cute so that's that. I just think these are good athleisure wear pieces so maybe you don't want to look like you just came back from the gym but you want to like funk it up a little bit so that's why I really like these pieces. So moving on, the next store being Jean Machine. So I walked in and I quickly saw this super cute and fun bomber jacket. I love bomber jackets and it looks like this. And I just thought it was so fun and you can wear this with anything really. And it can just be your staple piece. I would probably wear it with an all white outfit and just let this pop. I don't know, I just thought it was like super cute and fun. So I like had to have it. I also haven't worn this either. It has a tag and I got it. A long time ago but this is what I do I buy things and I forget I even have them and then I totally bypass it and I'm so guilty of wearing the same thing over and over you would think I have no clothes but it happens <laughs> and next being just this super easy like vesty type cardigan it's just gray it's super long it goes to about my ankles or like just above I just thought it was a cute little like whatever piece and yeah it has some like little pockets here yeah, you can wear this with a long sleeve, a tank top, a short sleeve, anything really. It's just it's just super easy and just a quick throw on. Moving on to a store here in town called The Glitter Parlor. I recently purchased many pieces of clothing from there, also have never worn. And funny enough, they're all blazers that I'm about to show you. I absolutely love blazers as well. Bombers and blazers, I think they're just the greatest statement piece. And so I had to have them. So one being this black with like stone crystally detailing here on the arms and the collar and here down the side. I just thought it was also another super fun piece. It's just plain black on the back. Again, I would wear this with an all black outfit because why not? I'm always in all black. Or even a pair of white pants I think it would be cute. Anything that would make this pop really because it does have a lot going on and you kind of want to make this a staple piece or at least I do so yeah. And again blazer again black and it just looks like this it was tailored to my body so it like gave me a really nice shape instead of being like flowy and it had this cute little like laces vibe going to it down the sides here and it has a fake pocket idea here thought it was super cute again haven't worn this yet <laughs> but anyways it's all black anything with like little fun details I'm like all for it and lastly, my favorite piece, when I saw this, I was like, whoa, like, I need to have that. It was on the pricier side, but whatever. And being this blazer right here, it's like a snakeskin feel. I just love the black and the white and the gray going through it. And in the front, it has this, like, extra little flimsy piece here. It does have a zipper if you wanted to zipper it up, but I don't zipper up my blazers. I think it's not cute, in my opinion. So I leave them all open. 
so half the time my blazers don't even zip up at all but I don't care because I don't want it to zip up anyways so yeah it has like padded kind of shoulders but not enough to make it look like you know it was back in the day again I would probably wear this with an all-black outfit because I want this to pop all three blazers I feel like they're such a staple piece that if you allow it to pop it just becomes that much more fun but yeah I just thought this was so different and I don't have anything like it so I just kind of wanted to have it so I did oh I lied I didn't get all blazers from glitter parlor I have this super fun dress I also got this a long time ago it's obviously just all black with these gold little hoops going through it it has some like fun little design as well if you can see it's just plain at the back kind of has a little belt situation going on and yeah it's just long sleeve again super sheer and it goes to about just above my knee or does it go over my knees maybe over yeah I think it's over. I think it goes over my knees, so just over. It's a high neck, so there isn't really any V going on. I typically don't like dresses or any type of shirt that goes right up to my neck, but I just thought this was super fun and it just had so much other stuff going on and I just, for some reason, it kind of screamed Kim K to me. So it was a little bit on the pricier side, but oops. I've had this for quite some time now and I honestly just haven't found the perfect place to wear it so until I can figure out where I want to wear it I will just stay in my closet and look cute there for now. So moving on to Club Monaco I got a few pieces from there recently and I wanted to share. I got this super cute blousy shirt it's that you know pastel pink that's definitely on trend and I just really love the detailing on the arm it is the bell sleeved arm and it has a little black bow here and it, you can tie it up. You can tighten this or loosen it however you want. I would probably loosen it just so it gives you that hole there. And yeah, I just very simple, very soft. And I just really like the detailing on the arm, really. I would pair this with my jumper that I got. The one from Comonico, I, I mentioned it in my spring haul. If you didn't see that, I will link that below. But I would definitely wear this with that. Or a simple pair of jeans with a pair of heels, whatever. It's just an easy top, cute. and. Thought it was cute so next I got this like light lavender-y pretty little dress I thought this was so cute and like just simple and very very pretty it also had the cutest little detail again on the arm it's just so simple nothing to it totally plain but the arms I couldn't pass it up and it does go off the shoulder on both sides so you know me and cutouts and anything off the shoulder I think it's just super feminine and girly but it actually, it was a little bit longer. I did take it in and shorten it. It went to just above my knee. I find skirts on me that go just above the knee. It kind of like cuts me off awkwardly and I look like kind of short and stumpy. So I do it a lot. If it's over my knee, I like it. If it's above my knee, I like it. But when it's like this awkward, like like slightly kind of touching my, the middle of my knee, then I just... It's not very flattering on me but if you were like super tall I think it would look perfect on you because you had the height on you but I don't so I did shorten it I actually purchased this the day they put it on the floor so when I saw it I was like oh that's like super cute and I have like a million weddings this year apparently all of my friends are getting married so I was like I will wear this 150% so I had to have it but yeah I actually wore this uh, last weekend I had a bridal shower and I thought it was the perfect outfit for a bridal shower but yeah if you wanted to see me wear this I did post a picture on my Instagram I will put my Instagram name right here and I'll also link it below if you wanted to follow and see how I styled it and lastly because I loved that dress they actually came out in a shirt form in black it did come in white as well I almost got the white but I probably would have just made it a disaster I was already getting like makeup on it so I was like you know what you're really cute but black is black and we all love black and I needed another black piece in my closet apparently again you can wear this with anything super super cute. and lastly my all-time favorite store being Express guys I think I would be lying if I said I don't own that entire store it's just the most on-trend cutest affordable pieces of clothing and it's just right up my alley so every time I go in there I seriously just need to buy everything and one being I also bought these quite a few weeks ago again haven't worn them I swear I think 90% of these pieces I haven't even worn yet I just haven't found the perfect place to wear them and I, just no reason I'm just kind of saving them I guess so this being one of them just 
simple pastel -y pink wide legged like dress pant idea. Super loose, they're not tight fitted at all. I would definitely wear these with a heel because it is the wide leg, so you kind of want that length to you. They were just so girly and flowy and very feminine. And then next being this just super easy, holy with holes <laughs> sweater. It goes off the shoulder. I purposely got a large in this just so I could have a droop over my shoulder. I do wear a bralette under this or a tank top, whatever I'm feeling that day. But yeah, I'll wear something high-waisted and then I'll throw a bralette. I thought it was just a, you no, know, whatever sweater. Another black, black, I'm so basic. A black sweater, easy, easy peasy. I love an easy shirt that has super cute detailing on it. So again, this has the cutouts. Even this one right here, also from Express. White, I went out of my comfort zone, it has these cute little laces and I just thought it was another easy shirt just to wear with a pair of jeans or anything really. And I got this necklace at Aldo Accessories actually a long time ago. It might even still be there. They tend to have things for a super long time, but I haven't really paid attention, but it might still be there. Then I got three identical pieces actually, just in different colors. I purposely got these because I am going to Italy in the summer. So I wanted to start collecting some pieces I could bring with me because I get nervous about taking my expensive pieces in case anything happens or goes missing. So I'm just kind of stocking up on the more cheaper things but also super cute because I want to look super cute so I just got this simple pink perfect summer color just goes off the shoulders just kind of droops here I got it in pink got like that silky vibe I got it in light pink and then I got it in this black and white like printed little pattern going on. I'm probably gonna save these for Italy because they are just so easy and we are going on a tour so I wanted to like still look cute but be comfortable at the same time and it's also gonna be super hot so I kind of wanted to be you know as loose as possible. So yeah that was specifically for Italy. And then lastly I got a few denim pieces. If you know me <laughs> I don't like jeans. I'm not gonna say I hate jeans because I own a lot of pairs of jeans but I wear them as least as possible. I just, I don't feel comfortable in them. I don't think they're flattering on my body. I just, I just kind of go away from them. But if they have a cute little cutout or if they're torn or some sort of nice little shades going on, then I probably will purchase them and I will wear them. So that being said, I got these cute little jeans. I actually got these so long ago, <laughs> again. But they're jeans, so they were just sitting in my closet and I haven't worn them yet, but I will. Um, just these light washed holes in the knees cut out. And the best part was this bottom, so cute. They're just like frilly little, little ends here. This is also a trend going around. So when I saw these, I was like, those are actually really cute and I can rock those. So I picked those up. They actually put these on the floor the day that I got them. So I was like, oh, those are cute. So. And then another pair of jeans, these are more of a darker wash, more up my alley. I, I like a darker wash over a light wash. And just simple little, again, cutouts in the knees. But I liked the bottom. They're not your typical, you know, just straight across hem. It's shorter on the top and longer at the back, if you can tell. So yeah, I thought those were also super fun. I actually wore these um, on the weekend with a pair of booties. Anything low because you kind of don't want like your booty and this like connecting you want to see that like Detailing going on at the bottom. So anything with a low cut in your shoe I thought was super cute so you can actually see what's going on and then I also purchased some jean skirts I am such a sucker for jean skirts. So I found two pairs that I really love so I picked them up So this one right here again dark wash and again They have the rips going on so I thought that funked it up Jean skirts, I think, are just such an easy piece because you can dress them up, wear them with a pair of heels, put a pair of leggings, a black leggings, a fishnet. You can wear it with a sweater. You can wear it with a blouse. You can wear it with just a simple tee. You can wear it with sneakers. Anything, really. When I think of a jean skirt, I just think of jeans. So you literally can wear your jeans with anything and everything. So I think the same with the jean skirt. That's why I love these. They're actually like so versatile and you will get so much wear out of them. And then I got it in this light wash here, this like dark to light wash situation, just to change it up a little bit. 
It has a dark pocket and a light pocket, so I thought that was super cute. And lastly, I just wanted to talk about a pair of shoes I recently bought. I was so excited about them. When I saw them, I was like, holy crap, those look exactly like Gucci. I need to have them. So they were just these Steve Madden little slipper shoes here. They are seriously the knockoff of the Gucci's. The Gucci's, they also have like fur going on here. I kind of prefer it without the fur. I would never spend the money on those Gucci ones on this type of shoe because I don't love them to spend that much money on like a slipper that, you know, in my opinion actually looks very like your grandfather would wear them. But I just thought they were just a super cute like everyday slip on and again, they were a Gucci knockoff and I did really like them still but way more affordable so and I wear them all the time and they're super super comfy but they're made for like little people feet apparently these are a size 10 I'm usually a size 8 8 and a half so I had to go with a 10 they only had a 10 left and I was like ooh, and the girls like they're made small and I was like okay I'll try and I tried and they fit and I was like oh my god it was like meant to be it was the last shoe in a 10 so then they fit and I was like oh perfect yay so I got them and I actually wore them right outside of the store. I paid for them and I put them right on and I continued to shop. So yeah, that's these cute little slippers. Anyways, that concludes this clothing haul. They're all still pretty much available. I think the Express, this one here. I don't think this one is there because I did get it quite a few months ago, but I did see it on the sale rack, but it was in an orange. So if you like orange, like I think that's still there. But other than that, I haven't seen this back just yet. But everything else are fairly new and you can definitely still find them, I think. I, I tend to buy things before the season even comes and then I just kind of store it away and I forget about it and I just keep wearing the same thing a thousand times. You'd think I have no clothes, but it happens. But seeing all of this stuff, I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah, I should wear these, oh yeah. Like So like I'll buy like all of these dresses and these skirts and all of these flowy little summery shirts when it's still snowing outside. <laughs> I just feel like I always want to have the perfect occasion to wear them. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this clothing haul. I'm sorry I didn't get to try on anything. There was a lot of pieces, but like I said, I will 100% be wearing them and posting a pic on Instagram on how I would be styling them. So if you want to keep in touch and see how I put these things together, then be sure to follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. I noticed that my spring haul got a lot more views than any other video I've ever posted so I think I need to maybe lean towards the fashion a little more often which is totally fine with me. It is right up my alley because it seems like that's what you guys want and I am totally fine with that. We can work with that. So yeah, I have nothing else left to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.